We got a warning now for every parent out there and also every student. You all need to hear about this. This is about Adderall. College students and doctors are telling us that the prescription stimulant is the drug of choice now for students looking for some kind of an academic edge. So the DEA says it is as dangerous as cocaine or Oxycontin. But as Whitney Wilde explains, stopping its use poses a major challenge. Like I was at the library last night and at least four or five people were walking around asking for a like if I, anybody had Adderall and stuff like that. In college, it's not just coffee or Red Bull anymore. Students are using stimulants with or without a doctor's prescription to boost their grades. It is a miracle drug. Drugs such as Adderall treat ADHD, but an ongoing study from the University of Maryland shows students without ADHD think these pills help them focus too. It's definitely very, very prevalent, and especially with the harder coursework, with the longer hours. Like you really have this drive to like you need to succeed. We chose not to show this student's face to protect his identity. He says first he used it recreationally in high school, then dramatized symptoms to a doctor to get more. Once I saw what it did do, then I, I really it was it really definitely was the uh, the pressure to succeed that that kept me going. Researcher and criminal justice expert Laura Dykstra says what's most surprising: students share more often than they sell. The fact that it's being shared to me points to a suggestion that people don't think there's anything wrong with it. Student Emily Rainey says that perception is accurate. There's a drug problem on campus and we I don't want to partake in it. Rainey uses prescribed Adderall to control ADHD. She says when her peers learn she has the pills, some urge her to share. I've been asked, but I never indulged them. I mean, it's a performance enhancing drug. It's the same thing in uh, sports. It's steroids for your brain. Police say that cracking down is incredibly difficult. We reached out to police departments at George Washington University as well as University of Maryland. Both departments said in the last 12 months they've had fewer than 10 cases of illegal Adderall possession. I think there are a lot of challenges to any sort of crackdown or enforcement uh, on the individual level because it is a commonly prescribed substance and there are plenty of people who legitimately need it. Um, there's not really a way they can crack down on it. You can't test an entire student body. Dykstra says students are less and less worried about potential harm, and this startling trend likely won't slow down. It's not that taboo. It's just like, hey, got any? Whitney Wild, ABC 7 News.